Hello everyone, this is Kelly and I would like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and day four of our Spring Bliss release, available at honeybeestamps.com on February the 16th. So let's take a quick little look at what we're going to see for day four's products. First off, we have a brand new freebie in our Be Young collection. We also have a new addition to our Loads Of, which fits with our Big Pickup Tailgate. There are stamps and dies that go with that. And then, of course, a beautiful new paper pad called Playful Pastels and the adhesive gems that coordinate with that. And then also there is a Playful Pastels sequin mix. So now let's kind of take a deep dive and look at these in depth. This is our Be Young Spring Edition. This is our freebie. So you can see you have that sweet little girl with her little wings and antenna. There are two butterflies and two bees. She's holding a sweet little bouquet of flowers. And then there's two sentiments, thanks a bunch, and just for you. There's also a coordinating die set that goes along with the spring edition of our freebie. You can see it's going to cut out the little girl, all the bees and butterflies, and both of those sentiments. Now, as with all of our freebies, these are free while supplies last. The stamp set you will receive free with a purchase of $75 or more. And with a purchase of $100 or more, you will receive the stamps and the coordinating die. Next up is called Loads of Love, the Spring Edition. So this coordinates with our Big Pickup tailgate and the Big Pickup cab. So you have lots of things here to fill the back end or the tailgate of your pickup. So there's Easter eggs, there's a pile of carrots, and then lots of fun spring and summer florals. There's also the little bunny's head and his little paws that can peek over the steering wheel, the little bunny's tail end, a little basket, and then lots of little things that will fit into your license plate. There's also a couple little bees that would be cute buzzing around those spring florals. So lots of fun here with this addition to our Loads of Love series that coordinates with our big pickup. You can see there's also coordinating dies, so it makes it really easy just to stamp those out, cut them out, and add those to the tailgate of your pickup. Next is our beautiful spring paper pad, and this is called Playful Pastels. This is a six by six inch paper pad. It's double sided, and there are two sheets of each of the patterns. So we have beautiful pinks, there are dots, plaids, and then also some ombre colors. So you can see this one goes from pink into white. There is yellows. You can see the braid or basket weave there. This one is a beautiful floral if I hold it up close. From far away, it looks very geometric. There are also some yellow dots and then also that beautiful ombre there, that, again, that's gonna go from yellow to white. There's a beautiful green, white, and black plaid, green dots, a green geometric. There's a green ombre from green to white. We go into some beautiful blues, and this kind of looks like a little flower or little stars. It's a beautiful kind of dusty color of blue. We have some fun kind of wonky stripes, chevron, and then again, an ombre from blue to white. There's a beautiful purple watercolor look, some purple florals. You can see that all over design. There's also these beautiful, dainty spring florals and purples and greens. There's a purple Andre, ombre from purple to white. There's a beautiful rainbow plaid, and you, those run two different directions. You can see there. There is a beautiful floral that ju looks just like one of our six by six inch stamps that was also released with the Spring Bliss release. And then, of course, our beautiful layering quatrefoil. So this is done in a paper here with white and kind of a charcoal gray. And then now we're back to the beginning. I'm just going to do a quick flip through, give you a look at all of these beautiful, playful pastel colors. Perfect for all of your spring cards and all of your crafty creations. I love that purple floral there. And I am in love with plaids as well. I can already see myself hoarding all of those. 
we're at the end now. And then of course, to go along with the Playful Pastels paper pad, we also have the adhesive gems. There are 300 gems in each of these packages and you can see how those coordinate perfectly together. So just the perfect way to add a little sparkle onto your projects. Now there is also a Playful Pastels sequin mix. So if you like to do little shaker cards, maybe these would be great in your little builder egg uh, die set. So you can do little shakers with that. But this is so fun. There's little teeny tiny butterflies and then lots of pretty colors. And again, that coordinates perfectly with that Playful Pastels paper pad. Okay, for today's card creation, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna mix it up with that Loads of Love Spring set. So normally this is created or this coordinates with the Big Pickup Tailgate. So here's a look at that stamp set with the eggs, the carrots, the spring flowers. There's the beautiful uh, coordinating die set that's gonna cut out each of those. Here's the Big Pickup I've done with the spring flowers. So normally those would, would be used with the Big Pickup Tailgate. Today I'm going to do something a little different and use that with our wheelbarrow die set. So this builds up the cutest little wheelbarrow. I'm going to use some of my Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue and add some adhesive right onto all of those little die cuts that I have. So I have kind of a metallic paper for the base or the stand of my wheelbarrow. I have some craft cardstock that I'm adding there and that's kind of for that wooden piece, the long piece that's going to connect everything together. And then I have a teal colored kind of the bucket part or the holder, holder part of my wheelbarrow. I'm going to add a dark chocolate brown uh, handle to the end and then a black wheel down at the bottom. So what I have done is I have stamped and uh, done some Copic coloring on those little carrots there in the top right hand corner. And I am going to do some strategic cutting. Now you could do this with any of those stamps. So if you wanted to fill your wheelbarrow or your little red wagon, let's say, with the Easter eggs or the spring flowers or the carrots here. So you just kind of have to look and see where you can strategically kind of fussy cut around those images. And that's what I'm going to do today. So I've got my wheelbarrow all put together here and then I'm going to take some really fine point scissors and I'm going to fussy cut around the carrots and that sweet little bunny's bottom there that's in the top right hand corner. Okay, so when I start fussy cutting this, or before even, I held that up to my wheelbarrow and there's like the perfect spot in those carrots where they kind of have a, a hump or a heel on either side. So I took one side of that that it's going to fit perfectly in my wheelbarrow and I trimmed right down the center or right around those little carrot images. Now after I got it cut where I wanted it to or where I wanted it to be where I knew it was going to fit perfectly inside my little wheelbarrow, I just cut all around those little carrots and you can see how sweet that is, how cute those carrots are piled up high in that wheelbarrow. And so now I'm going to take my really sharp scissors and I'm going to cut a uh, fussy cut around the little buddy's bottom. Now there are coordinating dies with this, but because of the project that I was doing today, I chose to fussy cut that just so everything was seamless and looked nice with my little wheelbarrow and everything like that. If you're going to use this in your big pickup, or do some other type of project, you could totally use the coordinating dies. It would make it a lot easier. I'm not normally a fussy cutter type of person, but I thought it turned out super cute. Now, in this Spring Bliss release, we have a really cool two-piece die set. So it's four-sided. One is just straight heel sides. You can see here, there's four different heels there. And then this one has grassy heel sides. I'm in love with these stencils. So I am going to use a grassy heel side to create the perfect little resting place for my wheelbarrow. 
I took a little bit of the pattern paper from that Playful Pastels paper pad, and that's a tongue twister, and I cut it out with my scalloped and stitched rectangle dies, and I'm using one of those very slight hill sides to brush on a little bit of green ink there to the bottom, and that's gonna add the perfect resting place for my wheelbarrow full of carrots. I have a top folding white card base, and I'm gonna add some of that beautiful pastel kind of rainbow plaid paper. And that's going to be one layer of cardstock there. And then my um, hillside or my grassy piece of cardstock there is going to go right over the top of that. I decided I'm going to pop that up with a little bit of foam tape. And I love the way that that yellow, that's the yellow ombre paper. I love the way that looks with the green grassy hillside. And so, it, of course, with it being from that Playful Pastels paper pad, everything coordinates perfectly. So now I have all of my foam tape ready to go. I'm going to peel off the backers on those, and then that's ready to go into the center of my card that I have there. Once I get that down onto the center of my card, I can start building and adding all my little carrots and my wheelbarrow and, of course, my little bunny. So I've added just a little bit of foam tape to the back of my wheelbarrow as well. I'm going to trim that down so uh, you can't see it from the other side. Peel the backer off and then I'm going to nestle that right down into that little grassy hillside that I inked on there, making sure that I get the little stand and the wheel and everything nice and straight right there in the center of that little inked panel. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of foam tape and um, put that on the back of my carrots. Now, because I did some fussy cutting, I didn't like kind of the scissored edges. And so I just took the same green marker as I used to color the um, leaves on the carrots. And I went over the edges of that um, just to make that a little cleaner and to look a little nicer where I had cut uh, that cardstock. So that's what you saw me there doing with the green Copic marker. And now I'm going to take that foam tape and I'm going to place it in um, on the back of the carrots. Now I do double up the foam tape here. So I'm going to put down a little piece and then tear it off, peel off the backer of the first piece, and then um, put the second piece on. And that's because I want my big pile of carrots to look kind of rounded in the center, like that wheelbarrow is just bursting with tons and tons of carrots. I added a little bit of our liquid glue on the edges, and then it's going to leave the center rounded and then the edges glued flat. So I get kind of a really cool rounded dimensional look just pouring out of my wheelbarrow there. I'm going to press that liquid glue right into that paper and really let it set up. And then that part is all done. I'm ready to add that cute little bunny bottom uh, there that you can see kind of peeking out in the top right hand corner. Now, just to add a little bit of something, I have this kind of grassy, um, I don't even know what you would call it, and I honestly have no idea where I found it, but it's perfect for springtime. It kind of looks like cut grass. I added just a touch of our liquid glue right around the edge of my wheelbarrow. And so all of those carrots look like they're kind of nestled down into um, that cut grass. It's kind of a really cool look, but you can find all kinds of uh, different little add-ons, sequins, accessories in your local craft stores or online. Um, so I urge you to do that. I think that one is really fun for springtime that looks like the cut grass. Now I'm going to add my cute little bunny's bottom right there like he is diving in to that big heaping wheelbarrow of carrots. And then last but not least, I'm going to add a little fuzzy cotton tail on to his little tail that was stamped on there. So I have my tweezers, I added a little bit of liquid glue, and then I'm just gonna get that little tail kind of zhuzhed on there and make sure it is held down nicely with that liquid glue. And then this card really is all done. So, so much fun using those loads of love stamps and dies that are normally for the big pickup, 
so fun to kind of cut those up, stretch my supplies, and figure out ways to use those for something else. So here's a look at both of those cards. So you can see my big pickup there on the side with those spring fun flowers. You can see my wheelbarrow there with the heap of carrots. And then here is a close-up look at both of these cards. So you can see how these perfectly fit in the tailgate of the pickup. So you have all those spring flowers just pouring out from the back of the pickup. And then on the second card, you can see where I have trimmed down my little carrots, added that little bunny bottom that's also included in that Loads of Love set for a totally different look and use for the stamps. And here's an amazing look at Bobby's card. She's used all of those little spring flowers as a little garden there for her freebie Be Young Girl. If you are catching this video on February the 16th, 2021, we are having a release party tonight, 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern, over on the Honey Bee Stamps Instagram and Facebook page. We have lots of giveaways, we show the whole release, and then after that live party is when it will be available at honeybeestamps.com. So I urge you to check out our Instagram page and Facebook and join us for our release party. They're so fun. Also check out our blog at honeybeestamps.com for lots of inspiration from our design team. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.